So to start off this part of last week's video, I guess it is, we are back to work on the covered bridge and what we're doing is actually finishing off the deck. Now we kind of finished it off before, but what we've done is we put down some sort of marginal deck boards on there just to kind of finish it off, get it really good and drivable with whatever machinery we wanted to take across there. And we just kind of left it there for the time being, but I've gotten some new deck boards milled out and so what we'll do is we'll take those over there, we'll take off the kind of not so great ones that we put on, put down the good ones, and then that will finish it off for the deck so we won't have to do any more with that part of it. All right, so for today, it's a bit, a little bit snowy out, and it's totally washing out the camera, isn't it? There we go. So I decided that we would work on another indoor project here today. And as you may have noticed, we have a little bit of a gap in between our door and our door frame here. And that is also on the, uh, the side of the building that is from the, uh, the the direction the prevailing wind comes through. So whenever we start getting any sort of a breeze, you get a draft coming through here. So uh, this is kind of the next thing that I want to take care of for getting this, this loft area draft proofed. Now the first step in doing this is going to be to cut a piece of wood that we can actually tack onto the door here. Uh, it needs to be, oh, maybe half inch, three quarters of an inch thick. And that'll go directly on the door. And then on the outside, we can run a strip of wood all the way around the, uh, on the door frame. That way when the door shuts, it will overlap with that piece of wood and it will hopefully keep any draft from being able to come through here. Alright, well we've got this thing pretty well sealed up, 
The door has a little bit of twist in it, and that's just, I think, from the boards drying a little bit, and it just kind of got a little twist. So we're going to have to deal with that uh, later. Uh, you can get some little, uh, uh, it's got like a little turnbuckle in it that you can hook on a door, and you can pull it depending on which way it's twisting. You can go from this corner to that corner, and we should be able to get that twist out of it, but I don't have anything to do that at the moment. So. We'll have to wait a little bit on that, but there is one more thing that we can work on with this project tonight, and that is to put this little door bottom on. And I know you probably can't see it real well, but this has a little, uh, I guess you could call it a wipe on the bottom, so that way it's sort of a rubbery material, so that way it seals real nice against kind of the, uh, the threshold there. And then uh, it also has a little drip guard on the front of it too so that kind of helps to move any rain water or anything away from uh, the, uh, the bottom of the door there to help keep that away. Now this is I think 36 inches wide so it is a decent amount wider than this door so we're gonna have to get a, a good measurement on what we need here and then cut this thing down and then get it installed and then we will be pretty much done with this thing. Alright, so this is going to be the last day for this week, and it's going to be a short day because, well, I already know that because I'm filming this little part on a different day from when I did the work. But anyway, so what we're working on is over top of our loading doors here, we're going to put in a little rail system. So that way, if I want to hoist something up into here without having to use the loader or if that's someplace else, I can just use, you know, a block and tackle or whatever and it's gonna be on this rail so I can slide it out over, lift whatever I want up in here and then slide it inside here. You know, hopefully it should be nice and easy. Now because we're gonna have a little rail up in there, uh, this kind of also fits into our trying to get stuff sealed up. So once I get the rail in there and whatnot, then I can kind of close up around that a little bit better. Now I had to do a bunch of prep work uh, on this ahead of time because uh, for our kind of main beam that's running down the center line here, uh, it's actually three two by sixes that are stacked together and they weren't quite uh, level so I had to kind of shave off a little bit off from one side to get them so that they were nice and flat on the bottom and that took a lot longer than I was expecting so I didn't get a whole lot done but what I did get done you're gonna see right now. All right, so that was all that we managed to get done as far as like stuff you could actually see. And what we've done is we just put one board along that center ridge beam going along through there and then that extends out uh, over the end of the mill house there as well. Now the next step is actually to put another board underneath that to bring it down a little bit further. I had to do it in stages because I didn't have screws long enough to go through the whole uh, board if I just did it in one piece. So we're doing it in two sections. That one's screwed on there. We'll get another board, put that one underneath there, screw that one in, and then at that point we can put our rail on and that'll kind of be finished up and then we can get sealed up around on the end of the doors there. Now also for next week, um, I'll pick up some hardware to hopefully try and get these doors uh, straightened out a little bit because we got just a, a bit of twist in them. So we're gonna see if we can't pull that out and get those straightened up. That way our center there where the two doors come together will uh, meet up a little bit better and we should be able to get that a uh, little bit tighter seal to keep any wind from coming through there. So that is going to be it for this week's video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>